Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with our Lee Sung Woo career mode series here. Uh, we are continuing on with our season. Blackburn Rovers is our next opponent. This is just kind of getting us, I don't want to say caught up, obviously it's not really that, but getting us moved forward a little bit. I wanted to get through the January transfer window, make sure that we've progressed past. I wanted to see, you know, is Cristiano Ronaldo going to leave? I don't know if I mentioned that in the last episode, but he is unhappy in the club. So this man right here could be leaving Man City at the end of this episode, we're not sure. I also have a few offers come in for me as well. And some serious offers that I honestly thought about taking, especially if Cristiano Ronaldo would have left and we didn't sign anybody in the window. Here um, we almost go down, but it, luckily it is offside so we can breathe a little bit and continue to just play our game and see if we can get anything from this. Um, I did want to talk about a few things in this episode though. Obviously, I keep saying uploads are going to be consistent, this, that, and the other. Uh, leaving and you know doing things this summer instead of you know uploading doing what I needed to do for this game it's um, it's made it difficult to come back to this game especially now that I've been watching FIFA 17 gameplay um, I haven't gotten my hands on the beta I wish I did but um, just watching some other people play it seeing the things that are coming from the game pro clubs looks really good um, obviously there's new additions to career mode which is going to be fun ultimate team has so much to do this year it's insane um, just a lot going on I haven't decided which console I'm going to play on next year I'll, I'll obviously get EA access so I'll play on the Xbox um, for the first week or so before the game comes out and then you know we'll worry about whether or not I'm really comfortable on that console it's always kind of been difficult for me to play with my Xbox One controller on um, FIFA it's just it doesn't register well in my head so we'll see after I play EA Access whether or not I do want to stick with uh, PlayStation and you know leave out Legends whatever um, it's really not that big of a deal I'm not too hindered on my decision although Legends this year that they have added are some pretty big names that I do kind of want to get my hand on that Rio Ferdinand looks pretty good um, a lot of players going on in uh, this year's Legends team that I am very interested in playing with here Yaya Torre gives away probably the most freak accident uh, PK you'll ever see um, another reason why I'm actually kind of done with this game but you know whenever you see all of the news for the new FIFA you see the gameplay for the new FIFA all the hype starts coming up and I'm, I don't want to say I'm not playing this game because I am I still play seasons from time to time I'm obviously still playing the career mode here and there um, but it's not something that I'm like excited to upload excited to post I've been doing this series for a while now um, Definitely going to be doing it throughout the entirety of FIFA 17. Obviously, we started a little bit late with this series, so if we can start and continue on through FIFA 17 with uh, whatever career mode I do decide to do, um, it's definitely going to be a fun journey. And obviously, if you, I don't know if you guys have been watching any gameplay from these ghetto streams that have been going up that get taken down within like a couple hours or you actually have your hands on the beta but the game just looks better it plays from what I can tell better other than that um, goalie issue that they had at Gamescom whenever uh, Castro and Spencer played with Marco Royce and Zed um, but other than that I really haven't seen that whenever I've been watching any of the beta gameplay or anything like that um, I do wish I would have gotten my hands on it again, but if it is what it is, um, obviously I wouldn't have been able to post anything anyways, but um, just the fact that I've seen the gameplay, I've seen what FIFA is about to be, it's hard to continue to play this, and I'm sure it's even harder for players that have gone to play FIFA 17, play the beta, do these things, and then come back to this game. I can't even imagine, I can't even imagine posting content for this whenever there is a quote-unquote better and newer game out. Um, I thought about starting another career mode just to kind of end out FIFA 16, but honestly with all of the roster stuff, it's always, I at the end of FIFA 17, or at, at the end of any FIFA rather, it's, it's difficult for me to like hunker down and play a career mode after all of the transfer market stuff has just happened. Um, obviously I could go through and do it manually, which is what I usually do, but I'm just really not bothered by not 
I guess continuing with FIFA 16 so this is going to be I guess not the last episode but probably the second to last episode of this series um, I am going to continue playing on off um, off recording I guess you could say and uh, get myself to a point where I you know post the last few games of my career and um, post the stats that I have how many trophies I win whatever um, but it's just going to be easier for me to play offline, not have to worry about making videos out of it. Um, and just play, you know, whenever whenever I get around to it, instead of actually have to sit down and trying to play this series. So, um, I'll probably do the same thing for A-Bar and just wrap up that series as well. Obviously that one not getting as many views as this one does, but I think it does need its own little ending. If you guys want me to do another A-Bar career mode, by the way, let me know. Uh, FIFA 17, obviously it's something that I'm going to be interested in doing because it is a challenge to play with them because of how small their transfer um, money is. But if you guys would like me to see or play any other career modes, let me know about those as well. Obviously, we have our player career mode coming back. Um, still probably looking to play as a midfielder or a winger. More likely a midfielder. I want to be involved in a lot of the play, which obviously you can do as a winger as well. But I think I'm more comfortable playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder than I am any other position. So uh, that's probably something that I'm going to be looking towards. For the next game, obviously the journey, I'll be posting that as well, trying to maybe show you guys a different side. I may end up waiting like a, a few days to see what everybody's posting out of the journey and then kind of do something different that uh, you guys will enjoy. Obviously you don't want to see the same Arsenal, Man U, Man City uh, career modes that are going to be everywhere. But um, we'll see how things go. It's going to be a fun game. Um, probably will actually be posting Ultimate Team next year just because of how many things are changing in it. Um, definitely going to be doing some pro clubs. Whether or not I post that will be kind of interesting. Um, I do have some friends that are playing pro clubs next year. It's just whether or not they're going to be focusing on that game at the beginning of the year or they're going to be focusing on NHL. They are pretty big hockey guys, so we'll see how that goes. If that ends up happening, then I probably will play on Xbox next year. Um, because of Legends, because I have other people playing on that account. If you guys do want any sort of collab in pro clubs or ultimate team, you know, squad building challenges are going to be there. We're, there's a lot of video opportunities coming up in the next year. This is kind of the make or break year for FIFA, for FIFA content makers. Um, they're doing a competitive scene next year where there's going to be like more than a million dollars on the line throughout the year, which is crazy. Uh, so that's going to be interesting to see how much the community gets behind that. I don't really see it being that successful as much as I think they want it to be because sports games really just aren't that successful whenever it comes to... Um, whenever it comes to competitive gaming. Um, I am a competitive gaming fan, I guess you could say. I watch a lot of competitive gaming, Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, Halo, um, League of Legends even. Um, here you're gonna see I get an offer from Valencia to join their team. I'm just looking around seeing, okay, they want to sign me for less money. I'm gonna be at a less likely of a winning team. I just wanted to look through my team, see who we've signed, see who we have in the squad, if it's really worth me staying here, if I should move forward. Obviously, we're the number one team in England right now, so in that sense, we should stay. Um, Man City has yet to sign anybody this year. I get another offer from PSG. They're offering me more money to play for a team that is going to win more, or probably more likely to win more trophies for me. Um, maybe a stronger team depending on how you look at it it's probably a more round team and probably a better off team but i think it's going to be like the same problem i had in barcelona where i'm going to be playing with lesser quality players instead of the full quality team which i don't even really do at man city but at least i play with more of a quality team i guess in my opinion um, and also PSG didn't make um, Champions League after group stages like we did, so they're going to be in Euro League. Um, so really there's no reason for me to leave so long as Cristiano Ronaldo stays 
and we've been attached to Paul Pogba, which would be the only reason I would go to PSG is to play with Paul Pogba. So if we get him in this squad, we have Cristiano Ronaldo, there really is zero reason for me to leave this team. So um, that was kind of my thinking. Paul Pogba ended up signing for, I think, around... I, I, I don't even remember how much he signed for, but he is going to be a big signing. You see PSG there. They're only leading the league by five, which is a little surprising, so it would have been a little fun to play in France. Maybe I'll do that in another season or something like that. So... Um, but Paul ended up signing for Man City, which is funny because obviously he signed for Man U and is doing pretty well from his first game. Uh, so we'll see how Paul's return to Man U actually ends up being. But um, the, like I said, this is going to be the last, I guess, gameplay episode up until I figure out where my retiring point's going to be. It, if you want to call it that, I may end up actually calling it a retirement and just actually doing the retirement animation. Um, as you see, I have 11 goals in the BPL. That is the uh, most in the BPL, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to make sure we try to keep that tally. I'll show you guys, obviously, all the stats from every season that I do play. If I do continue, it'll probably be another uh, season or two. I don't think I'll go that much further, but I'll probably finish out the season with Man City, maybe try to go to one more team, whether it's going to be Germany or France, I'm not sure. Or maybe I end up back on Barcelona, who really knows at this point. Obviously, I'm an 88-rated player. Barcelona is probably going to be a little interested in re-signing me. It's whether or not Man City is going to allow that to happen. So I wanted to make sure I put in enough gameplay here. Um, obviously, the games haven't been too exciting. Um, the Bournemouth game, we managed to get a goal. The Blackburn game, we didn't really get anything from. Um... So I just wanted to make sure we threw in enough gameplay here. Uh, we actually ended up going down 1-0 to Watford pretty early on in the game, but uh, I wasn't too worried about that. Our defense is a little shoddy at Man City, but in terms of our um, offensive capabilities, obviously we have Cristiano Ronaldo, myself, and Kevin De Bruyne up front, so it does give us a lot of opportunities to uh, really just play the way we want to play. So um, I guess just to re-hit on some topics make sure you let me know what career mode you want me to do obviously I have some in mind already but if it's a good idea I'll either replace an idea that I already have or you know add on to the idea maybe I bring back my five series a week thing that I was doing but it was a little chaotic and a lot of episodes coming out but I really enjoy just playing different career modes every day so maybe that is something that I bring back um, let me know what player you want me to play with. I've had a few suggestions come through um, in the past like month or so. So, you know, just keep giving me suggestions. Like I said, I'm kind of looking more to play as a midfielder, CM, CDM, CAM. Probably more CM or CDM in, um, is probably going to be better off for me. So if you guys can just kind of throw those my way, that, that would also be interesting. Um, let me know what you guys want to see in Ultimate Team next year. Let me know what you guys want to see in the EA Access if you guys don't have it um, and you want to see specific types of gameplay that you're not going to be seeing from other people. Let me know what you want to see. I'll do Pro Clubs. I'll do The Journey. I'll do Career Mode. I'll probably just make a collection video of the 10 hours of FIFA 17 that you get from EA Access. Make it into some sort of, not really a montage, but a collection of gameplay that shows you guys what's going on in the game. Um, I'll definitely do something like that. I was going to try to do something like that for FIFA 16. I'll probably look at the women's team a little bit. I believe they're possibly having uh, a couple clubs in the game from what I may have heard. Um, I don't know if that's true. I doubt it's true considering nothing actually has come about from it. And they added so much from the journey this year that I highly doubt that they're going to add any women's clubs. But if that's a thing, then I'll go ahead and throw the, that in there as well. So FIFA 17 is the future for this channel. Um, but until then, it's really going to be kind of an awkward gap in content until I figure out when I want to go ahead and stop this Lee Sung Woo career mode and work our way into FIFA 17. So um, that Everton game, it's pretty good obviously 2-0 no lead I think we could have definitely done better in the first half but uh, just going into the second half I knew that we still have a lot had a lot of capability in continuing on and winning this game by even more of a margin which does end up happening here we grab the third goal of the game in the 80th minute giving us a 3-0 no lead 
and closing out this episode pretty well. I am going to have one more simulation for I think the FA Cup after this that we ended up sitting out in because we played the majority of this game obviously. Um, which luck I I really have enjoyed playing at Man City. Um, obviously as an Arsenal fan you don't want to really play for another team in the Premier League but playing in Man City with Ronaldo, with Pogba, with Kevin De Bruyne, a lot of these big name players. It's been interesting and it's been nice because Man City actually plays me instead of Barcelona playing me sometimes and when I do play I was playing with a worse off team. So hopefully those are changes that are also made in player career mode next year. I know this is a long video guys if you have made it this long drop a secret word in the comments. Um, let's say just say Pogba because you know that that's a big thing or PSG even PSG and Pogba that's what you guys should put down in the comments if you made it this far into the video um, here we go into the simulation against Cardiff in the FA Cup I was right um, Joe Hart's been in and out of the lineup a little bit obviously we didn't have to play the full team here Pogba did start Sterling started uh, Boney started obviously to kind of round that out Boney ended up grabbing a goal which is awesome but that is going to be the end of the episode so if you guys did enjoy make sure you like comment and subscribe and until the next one I'll see you guys later